Hello everyone, what's up? It's Rachel, welcome back to my channel, or if you guys are new, thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is kind of cool and different for me. I've never done something like this before, I don't think, on my channel, and this is gonna be a first impressions kind of check-in review of the Charlotte Tilbury, the Lash Formation Day to Night Duo. Basically what this is, is two of Charlotte Tilbury's mascara in one pack. This retails for $58. Um, this was sent to me, just so you guys know, up front. Charlotte Tilbury is a cruelty-free, higher-end, luxury brand. I have tried some of their stuff out before. You guys have seen on this channel a lot of things that I really like. I actually don't think I've ever disliked anything from the brand. It's definitely just pricey, but I'm really excited to try this out to give you guys my thoughts. Real quick, I'll just show you guys the packaging. So here are the packaging for both of the boxes. I have to say as a packaging freak, I'm a graphic design student and packaging is one of my favorite things. So seeing something like this is so cool. I think Charlotte Tilbury's brand as a whole has really nice packaging, very good uh, first impressions. But this is it's just like a rectangular box and when you open it, it's got this cool little I don't know, opening flap. This is completely not relevant to the actual product review, but I just wanted to add that because I love shit like this. It really gets, turns my gears. Well, real quick, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the mascaras and then we'll jump into the first impressions. According to Charlotte Tilbury's website, the Full Fat Lashes is a perfect five-in-one mascara that is supposed to create curl, separation, volume, length, and drama. For the Legendary Lashes, it says that it gives an instant Hollywood false lash effect for instant glamour and 13 times more volume. We'll go ahead and do an up close of the brushes as well. Okay guys, so on the top is the full fat lashes and on the bottom is the legendary lashes. As you can see, the full fat lashes is much more of a typical wand, whereas the bottom one is a kind of, I feel like, a hybrid between a typical one and then the Too Faced kind of style with the kind of curvy wand. Also, to be noted, they're both normal hair, kind of typical mascara wands. They don't have the plastic bristles or anything like that. I think that's all I wanted to actually say about the mascaras. If I forget anything, I'll put it in the description box down below, but that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you guys about and show you before we actually jump into the application part. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you do. I can do more first impression, kind of check-in stuff. I really don't do that too much, uh, but I should definitely start. So I hope you guys enjoy. I love you. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay guys, so as you can see, I do have eye makeup on right now. This wing has been kind of a disaster, especially on this eye, but once you start, you can't stop, so I had to kind of commit to it. I figured I would try one on each eye and do kind of like a check-in for you guys. Um, I'm gonna be going to class today. I get out at 8.20, my last class, um, and it's 11. So I think I'm gonna do the legendary lashes on this eye and then the full fat lashes on this eye. So the first one I'm gonna do is the full fat lashes and this doesn't really have a scent. It just kind of smells like typical mascara. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a coat on my lashes. Uh, immediately, it definitely is very light feeling. It feels kind of moussey not super wet and a kind of a thinner formula. So there's one thin coat, as you can see. Um, I have pretty long lashes, kind of full, mainly long. So I like to build up a lot of mascara because I like to show them off. So that is the first coat of the full fat lashes. Um, I will say, I don't think it's the best for volumizing, at least right now, maybe I have to build up a second coat. Um, it just is giving me kind of length and a little bit of volume, but definitely not the most voluminous mascara I've tried, but that's okay. Uh, I'll give it another coat and see how it goes. Now this is the Legendary Lashes, and I'm going to go ahead and pop this on my right eye. Maybe I have a, it has a faint perfume scent. I look like I have a Hitler mustache. Um, and the brush doesn't seem like a typical like Too Faced Better Than Sex wand, but it is a little bit, I think, more curvy than the other one. I'll do a close-up later, but... Okay, so immediately this is definitely a lot more um, impact. On this lash, you can see like with three strokes, I'm already at the same kind of build up as this one. So I'm just gonna keep going a little bit. So that's one coat of each applied. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on a second coat and then we can talk about it a little bit. So this is two coats, pretty generous coats um, of each mascara. And I will say right off the bat, um, I'm really pleased with how they look. I think this definitely does so much for my lashes. It makes them look very long and very fluttery. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit closer, like as close as I can get. 
so you guys can really see. So I went ahead and kind of am leaning into my camera right now, but here is the left eye, and this one has the full fat lashes on it, and that is two coats, and then over here is my right eye, and this is the legendary lashes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom lashes for each, and I do have pretty bo pretty long bottom lashes as well. This one, this uh, legendary lashes, is definitely higher impact, so it takes less amount of product to get uh, the desired effect. So this is one, kind of two coats. Um, I only used one on this eye, but my lower lashes. So this, again, is the full fat lashes, and this one is the legendary lash. I'll do kind of a close-up of my lower lash line. Definitely not a perfect application here. They do look a little bit spidery, but I kind of like that. I like the look of long, thick lashes. So you guys can see that. This one is definitely higher impact, like I said. Okay, guys, so this is probably one of my first times filming on my phone. So I apologize if this is kind of weird looking. I just wanted to do a check-in on the mascara for you guys. Now, as you can see, it looks pretty good. Uh, this eye right here, which is the legendary lashes, is transferring. So that is the only problem I'm having right now, it's right there. Might kind of look like freckles, but probably not. I think you can tell. I'm about to go to class now, and I kind of want to touch up my makeup, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to stay strong for you guys because I know that you want to see the real results. But other than that, it still looks pretty good. Um, this is kind of what I'm dealing with right now. My left eye is the full fat lashes, and this one is the legendary lashes, just to update everyone. So that transfer is kind of what I'm experiencing right now. I don't know. I kind of like the look of this eye better. I hope you guys have a good day. I will check back in with you guys after class. It's going to be about six hours. Um, right now, I'm just about to go. Okay, so I will check in with you guys then. Bye. Okay, guys. So it is currently nine o'clock exactly on the dot. I just got back from class. As you can see, I'm very tired. As you can see, my makeup is a bit smudgy. So I didn't do any retouching or anything. I just wanna quickly do another check-in. Um, I'm looking at myself a lot in the viewfinder, sorry, but you can see there's so much smudging right here under my eye. So that is a result of the Legendary Lashes. Unfortunately, I did read reviews on that and that is kind of what people were saying, that it does smudge a lot. I do have a bit of smudging right here as well, but I am also wearing eyeliner and I did tight line too, so sometimes that does affect it. I'll do a close-up right now so you guys can see my eyes and all their gory. So here is my one eye with the full fat lashes and this is the other eye with the Legendary lashes so as you can see the legendary lashes has a lot more smudging and kind of color drifting going on right here this doesn't really have any and this has quite a bit so that was the main problem that I struggled with today using this mascara other than that there's been no real flaking as you guys can see it's been on pretty well so I do kind of have mixed opinions on this overall there have been no flakes so that's great but the smudging I just don't know if I could deal with so maybe this mascara the legendary lashes is a top lash only. It is pretty pricey though for being only a top lash mascara. So. so those are just my thoughts on the mascara duo. I think I would reserve judgment or get a sample if you could before trying this because I think on some people, me included, this legendary lashes does just really run. And this was basically happening since like three o'clock today. So it's now nine. I've been walking around like this all day for you guys doing it for the YouTube video. Kinda look crazy, but it's okay. But other than that, I mean, there's been no flaking for either of these eyes. So I did hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoy these kind of first impressions from me, please let me know, I can do more. Let me know if you guys have tried these mascaras, if you do like them, if you don't, if you like Charlotte Tilbury, anything like that. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.